Welcome back, everybody. It is I, Sean, the American in Krakow, riding his motorcycle. Again, not riding his motorcycle. It is still pretty crappy outside with the weather. It's been raining pretty much all week. It might be a few days before I get back on the two wheels. And I do have some couple of projects I need to take care of in the house anyway, so I figured I will film some of it and share it with you. Today, we are looking to, or trying to install, a 52 millimeter filter adapter on my Sony ZV-1. Here. And uh, again, try be the optimal word, and then connect or put in a variable ND filter. The reason I want to do that is, uh, even though I know it has an ND filter built in, I think it's only about three stops. There are some days during the summer that it's, it's not enough, and the shutter speed needs to go kind of ridiculous to keep it within tolerance, and then the, the footage looks all kind of weird. Um, but I'm hoping to try and resolve that with an ND filter. So here we go. We've got today the JJC uh, adapter for, it originally was designed for the, I believe the RX100. Yes, RX100V. So it's the RN, RX100V. Put it up here as well. Maybe that might be a bit better. We'll see. Um, by JJC. Even though this is a Sony ZV-1, they have a very similar uh, lens design. So my research has put me in this direction as one of the best adapters here. And nothing too fancy, just a Seagull Chinese branded or Chinese made and manufactured in China um, filter, variable ND filter. Um, I don't have a lot of expectations around this uh, or I shouldn't say I don't have a lot of expectations. It, it looks all right. Um, we'll see how the images come out, if there's going to be any kind of odd vignetting or anything like that in the pictures. At least I'll have the adapter and I can always step up to something a little bit more uh, substantial or at least higher in quality when it comes to the ND filter. Um, but at least the adapter is what's going to give me that option. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Let's unbox this. See what we got. We have a little strap. Looks like we have three M tape for the ring and oh, come on. the adapter itself comes with a lens cap and it already has a bit of the three M adhesive already stuck to it. So there should be no need to use that. And it looks like that is everything in the box there. I'm going to go ahead and take the lens cap off and then just see what this looks like. And let's turn it on. I just want to see what the contact point will be. Oh, okay. Not bad. Okay. And it doesn't really add a whole lot to the overall height of the camera or length, I guess, of the camera. Uh, which is good because I still want to kind of keep it semi-pocketable. I mean, I don't throw this in my pocket actually, but I have like in a pinch thrown it in a jacket pocket or something like that, just moving from one location to another. However, um, yeah, it, it's it's not something I would just casually throw in my pocket. Maybe a jacket pocket or something like that, but like jeans or something like that. That's that's not the uh, the intent and goal of of what we're doing here today. And it's not pretty much how I ever treat this camera. All right, let's uh, get this tape off the uh, side of the adhesive. Hmm. There we go. 
And in typical 3M fashion, it always gives me a hard time because it's proper tape. Try to get this centered. We are down. I don't want to press it too hard. All right, it's still on a floating camera barrel. And let's go ahead and turn it back on. And nothing showing up on the viewfinder is being problematic. Yep, everything looks good okay let's go ahead and turn that back off put the cap on it yeah that's not bad didn't really add that much to the overall height and thickness of the camera that's with the cap the cap is actually bigger than the adapter okay that was pretty straightforward pretty simple I am so far pretty happy now let's take a look at this ND filter whoa that really just almost tried to eat itself out of the uh, case here seagull variable NDX 52 millimeter Very interesting. I'm trying to see. Okay, there's the marker. So that should be max. And that should be min. So I think I'm going to put the. Well, we'll see. Let's see how it screws in. Okay, that's on there pretty tight. Again, doesn't really add a ton to the overall thigh. I mean, yeah, what are we looking at? A centimeter of additional height here with the adapter on. The adapter does come a little bit lower than the uh, bottom of the lens. So I feel like it might... Yeah, I think it, it's coming in contact with the table before the body does, but not by a lot. I don't think it's going to put a lot of weight on the body. There's the marker here for the measurements, min to max. I don't really believe these uh, marks are going to be very accurate. They're too uniform, and usually with ND filters, as they move up the steps, they're like the, the uh, steps between them become larger and larger to move up in uh, stops. So... Let's just see what this looks like. So right now, it is set to max, and my shutter speed is like fluctuating between one fifth, one one fifth. There we go. Oh, and that wasn't the max for sure. So that marker is off because that is blacked out. So there we go, guys. Uh, that is the install of a 52 millimeter filter adapter and a 52 millimeter ND filter on the Sony ZV-1. Uh, let's see if this, I don't think it'll, no, it's too big. Um, thank you for joining. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and hit the like button. And also follow me on Instagram. Uh, I post you know, all kinds of like random good morning messages or uh, if I do any interesting trips around Krakow, which is where I currently live, uh, I tend to post a lot of videos of me going to interesting breakfast places or for in general, if I go anywhere interesting on the bike, Zakopane or any of the uh, other places that are really cool around this area, um, I tend to post some photos from there. So anyway, check me out. The uh, handle is DJ Cut and Paste, just like on my YouTube channel. 
And I'm sure right after this I'll have a outro or something like that with my Instagram handle. So thanks again, everybody. You guys have a great day. Peace.